Something wrong with that? Maybe. Should it have gone like this? Well, if it wanted to stay in one key, that's how it would have gone. And that's how John Philip Sousa, the March King, would have used it, did use it, as an introduction to a march. But the twisted version... That's how Mason Williams used it to introduce his, his theme song, written with his friend Nancy Ames, for the Smothers Brothers TV show. Now, uh, great piece, uh, I've done a finger-picking version of it, uh, it's very cute, it's really unusual, and Mason talks about this piece in, with deep love and respect in terms of the Smothers Brothers kind of made their living off making mistakes, and so this melody is full of hitting the wrong note. <laughs> Resolving to the right note in the key of C here. And then we hear it in a different key. That's not enough. Let's jump out into another key. Can we stop there? No way. Now we have to get back to... We are so far away from the key of C. We're now in the key of A flat. We have to get back somewhere close to C. Let's start with F. G sets us up to play it in C one more time. Brilliant. Now we have to tie it up somehow. Let's repeat that ending in a different octave. Enough? No! Let's throw in a chromatic scale. And there we have what we're going to work on in this lesson, is learning to play the theme song from the Smothers Brothers TV show. It's, it's kind of just a normal little finger picking piece, but we keep the bass alternating and pick out a melody and we learn the chord progression, G, B, C, C, E to F, and G, but instead of landing on C, we have a little detour to B. That's the theme that Mason kept bringing up in this song. So, um, coming up, we will start working our way through the Smothers Brothers theme.
let's talk about the introduction first. It's, uh, it's a little difficult to play both of those parts, but what we have are two melodies that are going on. A descending scale in the key of C. Starting on the C, to B, to B flat, to A, and if we were going to stay in the same key, this melody would be G, F, E, D, C, and we'd land on some Cs. We have the bass doing ascending. C, to D, to E, to F, and then dropping down an octave to F. So if we put that all together in the right key, we'd have the first measure would be what I have in the tab. And landing on the F and the A, and then everything in the second measure would be one fret lower. An F and a G, to a, an F on the top and a G on the bottom, to an A and an E, open, and a B and a D, landing to a C. But that's not what we're doing, so we don't really need to, but here's what it would sound like to stay in the key of C. Now what Mason does is in the second measure changes it a half step high so that all, all those notes are a half step higher. First measure, now the way I'd finger that is third and fourth fingers at the eighth fret, then go to a bar at the fifth for the bass note at the fifth and the, and the melody note with your fourth finger up on the seventh fret. Ah. Then your second finger to the B flat and your third finger to the E. Let go of all of that. Jump down to your third and, fi and fourth fingers for the F on the fourth string and the A on the second string. Sorry, on the first string. Then land a bar at the second fret. And we're going to have this same move that we would have had if we were in the right key, but the second fret in the bass and the fourth fret on the top, and then they reverse. So going from G sharp to F on the top and F sharp to G on the bottom. Then jump the bar all the way up to the sixth fret. Gets both of the notes we need at the second string and the, and the sixth string. Then add your third and fourth fingers at the ninth fret on the sixth string on the C and the, the E flat up here. And then just stretch your third finger and land on the C, C sharp in this case at the ninth fret. I guess I was at the eighth before. And the C sharp is, is right there. So there's, there's how we have the twisted version. That's what we want that to sound like. Now we have, again, this is a one theme song that just, it's got an eight measure phrase that keeps, keeps changing keys. And so when we look at it in the key of C, it's really good to understand the chord progression and see what's going on. So what we have is a measure of C to E and F. So it's basically going from chord one to chord four, but chord four is interrupted for half the measure with the chord a half step below it. C to E and then F. Then it goes to a G chord, chord five, and back to chord one, but it, chord one has the same half step intercept. Instead of landing right on C, we have B to C. So after the uh, CFG sandwich, back to C, we, take, we pick up in the second ending where we move to the key of A flat. So now we're gonna have a bar and we're gonna play our A flat chords out of the E family with our shortened version, having our fourth finger ready because we are going to need some melody notes in here now. And then we're going to have bars out of the, the A family as well. 